As a leader, you already know that casting your vision one time is not enough to make it stick. In fact, twice isn't enough either, is it? Visions need to be repeated regularly if they're going to stick. To make it stick, you've got to find ways to build vision casting into the rhythm of your organization. And every organization has a rhythm. Maybe your rhythm is based on the beginning of your fiscal year or a big event that happens around the holiday season, or perhaps events that happen between spring and summer. The key is to discover the rhythm of your organization and then leverage that rhythm for vision casting. This is really not difficult to do, but it's one of those things that won't happen without some intentionality on your part as a leader. Let me give you an example. In January, there are two industries that do a booming business, health clubs and churches. It doesn't really matter what I preach on in January, the church is going to be full just because it's January. However, on spring break week, it doesn't matter what I'm speaking about either because families are at the beach. So in the rhythm of our organization, one of the best times for me to cast vision is January. But here's my challenge. As I see January approaching, I start thinking, okay, I've got to come up with a vision casting message, and I've already said this a hundred times. Surely they know all of this by now, and they're just going to roll their eyes and think, here comes that vision talk again. You see, my assumption is that since the vision is still fresh on my mind, certainly our congregation doesn't need another reminder, but I've learned that that's just not the case. So I sit down and I develop a new angle on our existing vision. Why? because vision doesn't stick. Casting vision this January doesn't guarantee anything about our congregation's commitment to our vision the following January. And so I repeat it over and over. In your organization, there may not be a context for giving a regular public presentation to your team or your staff, so you're gonna have to be creative. A couple of years ago, I tried something new to communicate vision to our congregation. Here's what I did. I sat down and I wrote out exactly what I wanted to say, and then I read it and recorded it onto a CD. The talk ended up being about 12 minutes long. We made thousands of copies of the CD, and since CD duplication is so inexpensive, the cost actually ended up being comparable to what we would have spent if we'd mailed it. And we gave a copy to every family in our church as they left one of our services. And I asked them to listen to it in their cars on their way home from church. We handed out CDs for three weeks just to make sure that everybody received a copy. And I was amazed at the response. People loved it, and not only did they love it, more importantly, they heard the message I wanted to convey along with the layers of emotion that I wanted to express. So here's your challenge as a leader, to discover the best way to repeat the vision based on both the rhythm of your organization and the channels of communication that are available to you. When are people most attentive in your organization? When is everybody there? When in the rhythm of organizational life do people in your organization need a reminder? Are you making good use of company newsletters, websites, and social media? Maybe an audio letter would work for you, or perhaps a short video. Every organization is different, even though the people in every organization are pretty much the same. We all need to be reminded why we are doing what we're doing. We need to be reminded what is at stake. We need to be reminded of our vision, and we need that reminder more often than most leaders think.